It's Tuesday night. So normally when I've been doing the vlogs, we always start at the beginning of the day, right? And today was just a busy day and I did not have time to sit down and come and say hi to you guys until right now. It's late, it's nine o'clock. Day is done, done and dusted. Let me show you everything I ate today because I did take clips. For breakfast, I made a just egg wrap. So I took the just egg, put in some baby kale, put in some vegan mozzarella. I put it all in the pan and then I put a carb balanced tortilla right on top of it. And then I just let this cook on the stove. And then I added some hot Italian pepper paste, some vegan prosciutto, fold it up, done. Have some clementines on the side. For lunch, I had some more of that stuffed pepper quinoa casserole. And then I had the slow cooker chicken pot pie casserole and then i also made a protein smoothie for dinner i had some more butternut squash soup and a bowl with tofu streaming and butternut squash and then for my dessert i made like a little wrap with peanut butter and vegan marshmallows yeah that was the food if you missed in my last video i said i was changing my calories and carbs a little bit just dropping them slightly calorie goal is 1625 and my new carb goal is i have it as 173 but really it's just a standard 200 grams today we did go slightly over we're at 1651 but again it's okay it's still in a good range protein 108 carbs 196 and fat is 63.1 today was honestly so busy i filmed those two slow cooker recipes which both came out amazing i cannot wait well actually let me think about this i think that rest those recipes will already have been up by the time you guys see this video because those go up on saturday this vlog won't go up till next wednesday it's getting very confusing in my brain i had to answer you know i had to take care of emails and stuff you know it's funny because like people have a lot to say and feel about an influencer's job but i don't i can't speak for everyone else but i do everything myself there is nobody else who works for me works with me i take care of every email i take care of all the administrative stuff i take care of every picture every video every ounce of editing every newsletter every pinterest post every facebook like everything is me there is nobody else that is with this that's doing it with me people are like oh influencers it's such an easy job but there's like so much to freaking do all the time i'm actually going to keep editing so it's tuesday night so tomorrow the vlog number four goes up i think it's vlog number four so i'm gonna edit that because i need to do some editing on that and yeah those slow cooker recipes came out really good if you didn't see that video go check it out it's been rainy and gross here because we're getting residual weather from the hurricane it's just felt like full on fall like, I figured maybe this would be a fun switch up. Like, we're starting at the end of the day. But then I'll see you guys in the morning. It's probably such a weird angle, but I want to put my shoes on and just have a little chat. It's 8 o'clock on Wednesday morning. I'm exhausted. I stayed up till like midnight editing this morning. I just really, I'm just tired. My body's tired. It's sore from my workout from yesterday. Sometimes it's just as much about like, like motivation is one thing, but you also just, it's just doing it. It's like, it's literally just almost not even thinking about it and doing it. That's why sometimes I really do just like an early morning workout because I don't, I mean, I'm thinking a little slower in the morning. I'm like, all right, just, just go, just do it. Don't hesitate, you know? I know it sucks and there's so many days where I'm like, oh, I could just use an extra half hour in bed and it would be so much nicer. I also know that I'll feel good after I do this and motivation only gets you so far. A big part of it is also discipline. We're going in today. Hills, we're climbing. That was a really awesome class. If you have Peloton, it was her most recent 45 minute Hidden Hills. She's in like an all brown outfit, Kendall tool. And now I'm just gonna do a little five minute cool down ride. I am making a morning smoothie for breakfast, shopping, but I've been using frozen zucchini in the smoothies and it works so good. I really recommend it. In my little blender right now, I have the zucchini and frozen banana. I'm gonna use this protein powder today. It's the One Up Caramel Toffee Macchiato. I used to use this one a lot and I did like it. I just switched to the Diamond Ties for a while because I did like those flavors, but I'm gonna do this one today. I also threw in some spinach and PB Fit and Ripple milk, and then I'm gonna put the, it's a pea protein milk, don't worry, it's a non-dairy milk. <laughs> and then I'm just going to put my top on here. I blend it for about like 10 to 15 seconds to get everything going. And then I add in about four to five ice cubes and I blend again, so I'll show you. So I blended it for about 15, 20 minutes, 20 seconds. I'm gonna throw in my ice cubes, it's really thick, and then we're just gonna let it blend for like 30 seconds to a minute until it's really smooth. And now we have the perfect consistency. I definitely don't like this protein powder as much. That's why I stopped using it. I mean, more, I have two more containers in the cat closet that I have to use. I definitely like my other protein powder better. I added the coconut granola and my Catalina Crunch. 
There we go. It is 3.30, so I just made lunch, and I have this beautiful bowl here. I have the stuffed pepper casserole that I made in the slow cooker, the chicken pot pie that I also made in the slow cooker, and then I made some crispy Brussels sprouts. All I did was I took the rest of, I had some shaved Brussels sprouts, I coated them with one tablespoon of olive oil, added salt, garlic powder, and chili flakes, and just cooked them in the oven at like 450 on the top for like, I don't know, 20 minutes. I'm also gonna have some blood orange. I wanted to just talk really quickly, calorie counting the fruit. So I weigh the fruit out and then I eat it. And then the part that I don't eat, I weigh again. Cause like obviously I'm not gonna eat the rind. And then I have the weight of everything I ate. For dinner tonight, I wanted to keep it easy. I just made a sandwich. I used baby kale, vegan turkey, vegan prosciutto, vegan cheddar cheese, and then some of the chili paste from Trader Joe's. Some cucumbers, I already ate a few. And some butternut squash. I'm trying to get through this butternut squash from the last video. I made it on Saturday. Today's Wednesday. This, you know, tomorrow will hopefully be the last day I have to eat this. This made too much soup. For a little dessert, I just have some rice cakes with peanut butter and some melted vegan chocolate chips, and I'm waiting for my cup of tea to steam. It is 11.04. I'll tell you guys macros for the day. Let me just, I feel like I'm in slow motion for some reason. Okay, was it sometimes that I film like food videos and stuff, and the camera, I forget, and I leave it in slow mo? <laughs> Like, because you have to change the frames for a second. Anyway, today's calories, 1652, protein 101, carbs 211, fat 57.6. Today was super busy. Tomorrow is gonna be ridiculously busy. Tomorrow I have to film two recipes and I've just been editing and just, it's everything is like, this time of year is really, really like, so much goes on. And I started to have like moments of self-doubt before. So I was like, like part of me doesn't know if I should keep doing these vlogs because like it, I don't know, YouTube just sucks. And I know that like people aren't even seeing the videos and it's really discouraging as a content creator to spend literally hours upon hours on your content for it not to be seen. I know like people are always like, oh, like, don't worry, it's okay. But the thing is like, this is my job <laughs> and I need you guys to see videos and recipes and click on them. And like, you know, I don't want to do super clickbaity titles. I can't stand like that, you know, but it's like, what am I going to do to get interest if I can't even, I don't know. And I know these vlogs are not for everyone, but it's just like when you upload it and it's just like barely getting any views and you just spent the whole last week working on something, it's, it just makes me think like, do I, should I be putting my effort somewhere else? You know, I've wanted to hit 100,000 on YouTube for so long and like, it's just, it's so discouraging. Like, I feel like I'm just, I don't know. I hate to say that I'm not gonna get there because I don't want to put out bad things in the universe, but I'm just, I'm in that, I'm feeling discouraged. I'm feeling a little burnt out. And that's the reality situation. I try not to come on here and rant. There's a lot of things in my life that I'm so blessed and so fortunate and I love my job. I have something in my eye. Like, I really do love being a content creator and I love doing this. Sorry, it's like I'm poking my own eyeball out. But just like every job, there's really crappy parts of it. And I've been doing this for a really long time. I've seen so many things change and so much is just different than it used to be. Tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow will be a better day. Thank you for listening to me. I do appreciate it. Like I said, I do try not to bring this up. Just thanks for listening if you've listened. I appreciate it. I made the coolest. I can't wait to show you. Oh my God, I made this really fun drink and he used my skeleton hand glasses and it's so cool. But all right, enough of me talking. It's time for bed. Good night. Happy Thursday. I am somebody who needs a lot of sleep. Like I know that about myself. I was getting in bed every night by like 10, 10, 30. In the last few nights I haven't gotten in bed until like 12, 12, 30, and then waking up still kind of around the same time. And I keep waking up every day at like 5.45 in the morning to pee. I don't understand what is going on. I'm putting my sneakers on. Today's a strength day. I don't really feel like doing anything. My weekend has changed. Usually, I was going to my boyfriend's on the weekend, which I still am, but I thought I was coming home Monday and I'm not coming home till Tuesday. So that's why things are a little bit crazy right now because now I have to do the work that I was gonna do on Monday. Also today, we have to prep a lot of food. Let me try to wake up. All right, I'm gonna do this 30 minute strength from Just Sims from 9.27. Doing like a 20 minute walk, pretty easy. I have the incline at 11 and a speed of like 2.5. I wanted to eat this easy because obviously tomorrow is my run day. I definitely feel a lot better after doing the 30 minute workout. And it's like, it's so crazy. Cause like I know I'll wake up cranky and then I work out and I just feel a million times better. And I just wanted to like speak on that because I know, I know it's so hard sometimes to push yourself to do that workout. It's so hard, but then you do it and you just feel amazing. I don't feel 100%, but I feel way better than I did this morning. My mood definitely feels better. My mind feels better. When you work out and you're just like not feeling it, just remember that that end goal, that end result, that final 
end moment when all your endorphins are rushing. It's just gonna make you feel so much better. Easy 20 minute walk done. It is six o'clock. I don't even know the last time I saw you guys was probably this morning. My lunch today was literally leftovers. I didn't eat lunch again until like 4.30. It was just more of the slow cooker leftovers, the roasted Brussels sprouts from yesterday, and I had like a few pieces of roasted butternut squash. So I just kind of threw it all in a dish and ate it. I need to prep for four days of food or like three and a half. So I prepped, I just wanted to go over it last with you real quick, like what I decided to do. I wanted to keep it very easy and I wanted to keep the food prep honestly pretty as minimal as I could. I'm like, I'm just tired from having to do a lot of cooking the last week. I decided to keep my lunch, breakfast, and snack all the same. So all the lunch, all the breakfasts are going to be a just egg wrap and fruit. All of my lunches will be vegan egg salad. I'll use my Joseph's pita and I'll have uh, veggies on the side. My desserts will be uh, take my yogurts and my protein powder and the PB fit and like, you know, make my little things that I've been making like that. And then for dinner tomorrow night, I'm going to finish up the slow cooker leftovers. I still have a little bit more of the slow cooker stuffed pepper casserole and the slow cooker chicken pot pie. So I will finish those off tomorrow. Saturday and Monday, I'm going to make, I'll make roasted veggies and tofu. Like I'll roast up some potato. I have some things I should really roast up and I'll just do that, like take that with me and then I'll do the tofu. For Sunday, I was thinking, because I'll probably want a little bit of change to maybe do like a protein pasta. I might not prep that, I might just like bring it with me and I can cook that there. I actually wanna try to get the cooking done tonight. I don't know if that'll happen. I'm not making any promises to myself or to you because I'm tired, I have more work to do, I have more editing to do, I have more things to do before I leave tomorrow. Like I'm just, I have so much to do. And tomorrow's way in day. And tomorrow's five mile Friday. Just got a lot going on. It is 10.52. I made dinner. I just made some, th I literally, I cooked tofu and some frozen corn and frozen chicken beans. I wasn't super hungry. And then for my little snack, my dessert snack, whatever. If you've never done this before, you have to try. So I take PB Fit and I mix it with a non-dairy milk and like whisk it up. And then it kind of makes the, the non-dairy milk thick, but it also gives it a peanut butter flavor. And then I put in some protein cereal and it's really, really good. Like I actually really, really like that. And I don't know, I always love cereal, but then it's like an extra fun layer of cereal. I did the Three Wishes protein cereal. I really love the Three Wishes. I really love Catalina Crunch, the book's so good. I meal prepped everything. Remember I told you guys earlier I was gonna meal prep for my boyfriends this weekend. So I meal prepped everything. So a little, I'll just run those little clips here. I just did little stuff with the iPhone because I was just trying to get it done. I did this in like about, probably like an hour. So pretty feasible to get like a bunch of meals out of. To meal prep all this in an hour and to get like, I don't know, 15 meals out of it. Not bad, maybe less than 15, whatever. So let's do meal prep right now. Actually, I lied. Before we do meal prep, let's do calories for the day because I'll do the meal prep and then we'll just go into tomorrow in editing land. So today my calories were 16,114, protein was 113.9, carbs 178.4, and fat was 59, exactly. So this was actually a super great day of eating. This was exactly how I want to be eating every day. We'll do meal prep here and then I'll see you guys in the morning. I roasted up some veggies. I have potato, carrot, bell pepper, and broccoli. Just added some olive oil and seasonings to that. I made breakfast wraps like kind of how I showed you earlier in this video, just adding the vegan just egg, vegan cheese, baby kale, vegan prosciutto, with a carb wrap, a low carb wrap. I made some vegan egg salad. I just do this by mixing up some tofu with vegan mayo and seasonings. My veggies were all done delicious. And then I cooked some tofu with cornstarch and sauteed that up. My egg wraps are all done. My fruit on the side to go with me, my Siggy's yogurts. And then I have some PB Fit and some protein powder and my Catalina Crunch cereal. And I have my veggies that I cut up, my egg salad, my Dosa's pita and my Harvest snack peas. And then my tofu, once it was all done cooking, I put some buffalo sauce on there. I have my leftovers. I actually didn't even end up eating the pasta, but I just like to bring it to have options. And all the information for everything is in the description box in case you wanna know recipes for meal prepping. And that was it, easy and done. Run is done. It is 8.20 and we got those six miles in. 65 minutes and 12 seconds for the whole run. <clears throat> Average pace was 9.09, but let's just look at the splits. I did a lot better this week, I think. 8.29, 8.12, that's a new one. 8.40, 11.05, I slowed down here. I usually do slow down about for mile four. And then 9.26 and 9.20, so I kept it back up here. So really good run today. Happy Friday, friends. Okay, so today's weigh-in day. 
and one more pound down which is so exciting because i am now officially the lowest weight that i've ever seen in my adult life so that is really cool like i'm so close there it's like 9.8 pounds 9.8 pounds by november 12th i think we can do it and by we i mean me but you guys are here supporting me so i think that we can do it and then my waist was about the same and today the run 55 12 are you freaking kidding me like what i cannot believe i ran that fast so first of all i decided that this run i was going to shift my mentality from thinking of this as like a five mile run plus a mile because basically in case you don't know i started a thing called five mile friday i started this probably about two months ago where i would just run five miles in an hour that was my only goal just to hit five miles in an hour because i figured a 12 minute mile pace was pretty attainable as i've been doing it i've been going now to six miles so i guess we gotta start calling this six mile friday and i have been kind of thinking of it as like okay get the five miles in and then you know if you have like 15 minutes left after running the five miles you can just walk it out you know walk out those last few minutes or that last mile sorry but today i really thought of it as like no this is a full six mile run like think of it in your head and i think that's why i was a little bit faster today because i think last week was 56 50 so today was 55 12 and that was really exciting i'm leaving in a little bit to go up to my boyfriends we live like two hours away from each other so i'll you know i'll just put in little snippets here and there this week was really crazy like this was a crazy week and there's crazier things coming up i have a lot going on for the rest of october this is just october is a really busy month for some reason it's my boyfriend's birthday it's halloween i have a few like work things like there's just a lot to do so whatever it'll be fun i'm feeling in a way better mood than i have been the last few days sorry if i've come all cross as cranky i've been cranky to everybody not just you guys so yeah we're gonna have a nice fun weekend we're supposed to go apple picking tomorrow so that'll be really cute nice fall day activity and i will check in with you guys at some point. It is Monday morning. And so like I told you guys, I'm at my boyfriend's today. I have breakfast in a little bit. It's almost 10 o'clock. I am eating a little bit later because I just was doing some editing all morning. And I'm going to have my last little egg wrap. We did apple picking and the apples are just delicious. So I've actually just been eating the apples instead of the blueberries that I brought with me. And then I'm going to do a little workout later. I will work out six days this week. So I'll work out on, sun on Saturday as well. When I'm here, I keep a little workout mat and he has some weights. So I'll just do like a little, maybe a class on the Peloton. They have like cardio classes. Had a really nice fun weekend. And we had really a lot of fun apple picking and just, you know, being a little cozy and relaxed this weekend. Yeah, I've been trying to do my best to stay on track. I did have some sweets this weekend. We had caramel corn. It was so, it was vegan, which was like a shock to me. We also had this maple syrup cotton candy that was really good. Mostly staying on track. Here's breakfast. So this is an apple with some caramel apple pecan butter. I got it at a farm stand over here. So good. People are gonna be like, oh my God, it's butter. It's not vegan. These are the ingredients. I had some clementine and my breakfast wrap. And I'm gonna do a workout. So I have these weights, they're adjustable weights. They're, well, they're my boyfriend's, but they're these adjustable weights. So I made one, this is probably like 12 pounds and this is probably like eight pounds, somewhere in there. I'm gonna do a cardio hit class with Jess Sims. Hi, Belle. I'm gonna do that as a 30 minute class to get some movement in. All right, there we go. 229 calories burnt. That was the 30 minute hit cardio with Jess Sims. It's her only hit cardio class she ever has done. I don't know, but it's a great workout. Like I'm, I'm sweaty. Just, I think that's probably all I'll do because that was a good, nice little workout and I'm glad I got something in. Here's lunch. I have the rest of the vegan egg salad. I have some tomatoes that I bought yesterday. They are like yellow gold tomatoes. They're delicious. Some pickles, some cucumber. I have Siggy's yogurt with PB Fit and more caramel apple pecan butter. It's Tuesday morning, I'm home. I just made a smoothie bowl, frozen zucchini, frozen banana, non-dairy milk, vanilla protein powder, PB fit. Then I put that caramel apple pecan butter on top and my cinnamon toast Catalina crunch. And ooh, baby, does that look good. Oh my goodness, this hair, I curled it yesterday and it's just, it's got a mind of its own right now. I didn't tell you guys calories for yesterday. So since I showed you all the meals that I ate, let me tell you calories real quick. Yesterday was 1661, protein was 100, carbs 188, and fat was 71. I was high in fat yesterday, not a big deal. So I'm home. I have to do work 
got to film a recipe today, got to edit. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to end this vlog right here. And next week's vlog is going to pick up for the rest of Tuesday, you know? Like I'm kind of leaving you on a cliffhanger. Like what's going to happen the rest of today? Come back next time and find out. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for being here. If you like the vlogs, you already know. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Definitely leave me a comment. I love to hear from you all. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And I'll see you on Saturday with a recipe and a vlog next Wednesday.